All right, YouTubers, it's your boy, the virus system, and we're here to do the chiri chiri chara chara. And today, we'll be learning how to install something new, which is called the issue um, um, e commerce website, which comes with um, a front end for customers to be able to do shopping, and then a back end where you have a point of sales there um, your workers can use to do internal sales in the shop. So, this is a nice application that um, I have here today. You can see it right here installed on my local system, and I have the admin panel here. And I also have it installed on a subdomain on the, my main um, domain. And I'll be taking you through how to install this uh, application both on my local system and then both on what a subdomain on my online hosting. So um, you'll be able to do that. So this procedure we're going to learn is the same thing for any other um, PHP script that you have to install on your domain, whether it's going to be on your uh, main domain or your subdomain. It's still going to be the same procedure that you'll be using to do the installation. So we have um, my subdomain here, which is what issue 1.5, which is their latest version. We have installed right here on my domain, and then we have it on my local host too as well that we have installed. So I'm going to navigate um to my um, um, um uh, my hosting, and then um we learn how to install this application. So I'm going to my hosting, which is some um, Nacrotech that I have. So I'm um, right now on my, my C panel. So I log into my C panel. Um, chiri chiri. So we'll create um, a subdomain and then we'll learn how to do this installation. So um, let's give it some few seconds to log in and then we can create what a subdomain. So right here we are in my C panel and then we'll be learning how to create what, a subdomain. So I have add subdomain here. Then I'll click on it to add what a subdomain to um, my main domain. So the subdomain is going to be um issue we have here and then um, we have um create an SSL certificate for it um, which is automatically and um, my subdomain is going to supposed to pick here it doesn't pick so let me enter it manually um, dot com so we'll click on um okay so um we are there chiri chiri chara chara is creating um, the domain so let's give it some few seconds to create a subdomain all right so our subdomain is created and now we are supposed to look for our subdomain and then we'll open it and start um, uploading issue onto our, our our subdomain so i'm um, have my subdomain around somewhere here um, i have it here so i open my subdomain i right click and open it on a new tab which i have here so now we're going to upload um issue 1.5 onto my subdomain and then we start with our installation process so let's upload it here right here i have upload button then i have an um, issue um 1.5 and upload that so um let's give it some few seconds to upload all right so we have the chiri chiri chara chara our application is done uploading so now we are supposed to extract our application but before we ex extract our application um let's delete um um the main subdomain um system files of first so i'm going to delete this remove this away then we now extract um our issue um 1.5 um click on it extract now we are extracting and it extracted inside a folder so let's copy um, um the files out of the folder to um the subdomain so we select all of them then move then i'll select uh, my subdomain my subdomain 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 issue so we have it here then it's moving all files when it is done then we can start with the installation but before we start with the installation we need to create a database um, where our database files will be installed so um i will navigate back to uh, my main domain then i'll click on databases then i'll create a database for this application so um we go through with the database so let's give it some few seconds chiri chiri chara chara okay so we are here so here we are supposed to create a database but um i already have um a database that i created earlier on that i, I couldn't use it because i wanted to install um, a sample application and here is it so i'll just pick database this database out and then i will assign that database to um the subdomain i've just created which is um the issue here then okay so um 
All right, so um, we have assigned a database. So now um, we start with our installation process for um, issue um, um, 1.5. So I'm navigating back to my um, main dashboard, then locating my subdomain. Locating my subdomain, I have it here, and I'll click on preview. And preview that it tries to load um, um, the subdomain. And then it will start with the installation process for what issue um, 1.5 so it's telling me the access denied so i said okay let's um, navigate to my installation folder here and then we give it a try so our installation process has begun and we are some um, is going to do some server checkups um, on the system to make sure that everything is okay but it's reporting that your server does not meet the following requirements but where are the requirements so there's no requirements so that means that we proceed without our installation but it's also saying that um we are missing this particular file so that means that um it needs um sql um um, um sorry php 5.6 um which comes with this particular extension for it to run but um my server or my domain is running php 7 but i can still carry on with um, the installation because there's no problem with that so i hit on the next button which will take me to the next um, form which is to enter my database details which i copied the database name pasted then username which i'm going to enter my username and then we hit on the next button to uh, take us through the installation process so next then our data or our application has been installed successfully so it's taking so few seconds for us um, to have access to what our application so let's give it some few seconds so we click on the launch button and that is going to launch our applications for us and here we are on what our application front page our application front page so now here you are required to enter your purchase code for your application so i'm going to enter my purchase code and that will take me so a few seconds to do that and i will be back with that so give me some few seconds and then i'll be back all right so i'm done entering my purchase code and here i am with the main application running on a subdomain on my main domain so this is how to install what um issue um um, 1.5 on a subdomain or on your main domain to start using it and this procedure is applied to any other application that um, or php application that you want to run online it's still the same steps and the same procedure of installing every script so if you're able to learn this you should be able to apply it to what the next application that you want to install online so please stay tuned to the virus system online and subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos and comment to us well and if you have any challenges do drop me a mail on my email address and stay tuned with the virus system till our next tutorial we catch you up on our way and remember our next tutorial is going to learn how to install an issue on what our local host